are back again. Top Community Development Corporation in collaboration with FitBK presents Move It Monday, a fitness series from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. at Top Civic Center. To register, visit us at www.topcommunity.eventbrite.com or call 718-451-1020. See you there. Are you between the ages of 17 and 21 and want to learn how to be financially independent before the age of 40? Do you want to learn what it's like to have a millionaire mindset? Do you want to start to develop an attitude that pulls wealth towards you no matter where you go? Well, you're in luck. Top Civic Center will be hosting financial independence training courses from July 1st to the 3rd from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. for all people ages 17 to 21. You can't afford to miss this life-changing opportunity. Register now at https colon double slash tinyurl.com slash genwealthreg as the spacing is limited. Come and learn new things and show the world with the power of God and faith you can achieve all things. And earning a little extra money is merely the stepping stone for greater things yet to come. I know that you know, but do you really know? Where is the Missions Evangelism Ministry getting ready to go? You got it, to Guyana. Well, now is the time to get involved and to be a support to their trip. Yes, by donating items. We are collecting items such as men, women, and children's socks, underwear, flip flops, toothbrushes, toothpaste, lotion and soap, toiletries, medical supplies, school supplies, non-perishable foods with an expiration date for 2020 and later, canned goods, powdered goods, dry goods and liquid goods. More details to follow, so start gathering your items and see anyone now standing for more information. Are you in need of assistance with your mortgage? Did you know that you have options? Come out July 11th from 2 to 8 p.m. to Brooklyn Borough Hall, 209 Geralaman Street, Brooklyn, New York, 11201 for a free mortgage assistance event. Learn about loan modifications, forbearance, short sales, and other mortgage solutions. Also learn about the property tax and interest deferral program. Enroll in the community energy engagement program. Please remember to bring the below mentioned required documentation and please visit www.hopenow.com for more information about mortgage help. And after God brings Israel out of the water, you sort of wonder if he bet on the wrong horse because they still have struggles on their journey, they still have problems along the way. In fact, there are moments when you flat out wonder if they've lost their identity again after their Red Sea moment. It's like they keep listening to these voices that whisper to them or shout to them and say, you're not who you think you are. But maybe that's the point. God didn't bring them through the water because they would be perfect. He brought them through the water because he knew that they would wander and that they would need an anchor in their story a tether to their identity when lies get shouted at them about who they are in their future. We've been adopted as sons and daughters. We are children of God. Engage in a defiant act of protest against the voices of shame that chase you and tell the world that you belong to Him. Titus 3 verse 5 says, Not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to His mercy He saved us through the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. The time is drawing near to begin planning for water baptism. Oceanside Water Baptism will be on Saturday, July 13th at 6 a.m. at Coney Island Beach. 
We will meet at 3 a.m. on Saturday morning right here in the sanctuary and then proceed to Surf Avenue and West 15th Street. Water baptism classes are scheduled for Wednesday, July 10th and Thursday, July 11th at 7.30 p.m. right here in the sanctuary. United Covenant Churches of Christ is gathering for its 30th Holy Convocation. The time is now. From Tuesday, July 16th through Friday, July 19th, we will be gathering from all over the world at the Rosen Plaza Hotel in Orlando, Florida. Join us for three amazing days and nights and your life will be forever changed. We have amazing workshops for youth and adults of all ages and stages. Anointed musical guests and psalmists will be present each day along with an auspicious lineup of men and women of God preparing to be an absolute blessing to your life. Daily prophetic impartations, noonday services, and workshops that will empower you and ignite your spirit to press forward in God. Evening services begin at 7 p.m. nightly and are free and open to the public. Prepare to be blessed by anointed speakers such as Dr. Todd Hall on Tuesday, July 16th, Pastor Cardilia Wallace on Wednesday, July 17th, and on official day. Thursday, July 18th, we will hear from God's set man from United, the presiding prelate and general overseer, Bishop Eric D. Garns. If you haven't yet registered for this amazing experience, the time is now. Because from June 16th through June 30th, adult registration is discounted for the very last time before we get to Florida. So you know what that means. Do it today. Go to our website to register to get more details on attire, volunteer opportunities, and additional information at unitedcovenantchurches.org. I am looking forward to seeing you in Orlando. Let's get ready to celebrate our usher ministry and care ministry in fine style. Save the date from now because on Sunday, July the 28th at 3 p.m., we will be coming together for a musical celebration in honor of both our usher and care ministries. Light food and refreshment for those staying over for the program. Again, that's Sunday, July the 28th from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. I've got two people here. Each one of them is represented by a glass of Skittles. Skittles one and Skittles two. This morning, God has presented to us that two different people the way we live today. The first guy lives trying to just take care of himself and you realize the needs are great so he gives some of his Skittles to his mortgage payment. Then he gives some of his Skittles to his car payment. And if he has kids, more cars. Then he has kids that will one day go to college and he has to give more money for college and it's college so it's, and it's college so it's more Skittles trying to take care of himself. One day, one of those kids decide they want to get married and it's their daughter. I know what he feels like. And that's the whole thing. And then he looks down and he says, well, I don't have any leftover to give to God. But God says there's this other guy. His Skittles, the first thing he does with them, he hears the truth. He's connected to what Christ has done in him, and he takes his Skittles, and he gives them to God, his storehouse, to those in need, the tithe. He gives them to him, And then he sees the need, and he gives somebody else. Then he realizes he has a mortgage payment. He has realized he has cars to pay for. He realizes that he has college to pay for. He realizes that he has a wedding to pay for. But then he realizes his is empty. He's not sure what to do, and he knows he's obeyed God, and then he looks to God. And God begins to pour out his storehouse upon him. 
And God says, it's okay. I got room enough for you. Listen, my friend, his bucket is never empty. It's never empty. And my friend, I want you to understand the issue of the hour is, which guy will we be? What will you do with your Skittles? Because the truth is, God overwhelmingly, God overwhelmingly, and the truth of his word has said, out of the overflow, that love will pour out of you, and you will be generous.